Parasites. All deer in the UK will carry parasites. It doesn't matter if it's only a few weeks old or it's a very old animal. There will be many parasites that a deer can be carrying. There are external parasites but also internal parasites and we must look out for these. Some of these parasites could be hazardous to our health also. If the surface of a roll liver has a mottled appearance with white hard lumps, this would suggest liver fluke. If a roll liver has a thick white lining to the bile ducts and leaf-like parasites in these bile ducts, this would suggest liver fluke. If a carcass is found to have many white grubs under the skin along its back, what are these likely to be? And this is likely to be warble fly larvae. It's found in red deer in Scotland. The nasal bot fly parasite causes a deer persistent irritation and discomfort. Which of the following statements is true about warble fly in deer? And if we remember, it is found in red deer in Scotland. Which external parasite can carry Lyme disease? And Lyme disease, the Borealis pathogen, is found in ticks. Interestingly, with the ticks, this disease is carried in their stomach. It cannot be given to you just by a bite alone. A tick must feed off you and regurgitate blood contents from its stomach to give you this disease. If you find flattened insects scuttling rapidly through the deer's hair, what are these likely to be? And the insect that scuttles rapidly are keds. Lung worms are often found in wild rhodia. The symptoms include whitish pale grey solid patches in the lung tissue, especially at the lower edges. If we have a red hind that is shot in Scotland in February with many white maggots under the skin along its back, what are these? And of course they are warble fly larvae. They're not dangerous to human health, but certainly we would need to note it on our declaration before submitting a carcass to the game dealer. On inspecting a deer's pluck, you find a liver that is mottled and puckered and liver flukes are in the bile ducts, but the carcass is otherwise in good condition. What should we do? And we could sell the carcass to our game dealer, noting it had liver fluke on the declaration we sign. A deer is shot in summer and has a very heavy tick burden. What should we do? We would treat the carcass in the normal way, if it is in normal condition, but certainly try to avoid getting bitten by the ticks yourself. Numerous small, flat insects with six legs are seen running through the deer's hair as it hangs in the larder. What are these? And these would be keds. They are not dangerous to human health. You shoot a thin deer with a poor scruffy coat. On inspection you find it is infested with small 2mm reddish parasites with a dark line down their back. These are lice which have no food safety consequences but may indicate a deer is in poor condition. When preparing a roebuck trophy after selling the carcass to a dealer, on cutting the skull we find several white grubs in the animal's nasal passage. What should we do? And we actually don't need to do anything as it signifies nasal bot fly, which is not dangerous to human health. That is the end of this section.